speaking of special responses in the fight against coronavirus, a large but often overlooked sector of the public is now getting the attention it deserves. Psychiatric patients with both minor and severe conditions who are at high risk for infection, yet have added difficulty receiving treatments from general population medical wards. Chief psychiatrist with the Sheba Medical Center, Professor Mark Weiser, has more. Now, Professor, first off, what do you make of the latest drop in infection numbers? And how does that play into the work that you're doing with psychiatric patients? We are very encouraged by the drop in numbers of patients infected by COVID-19 in the Israeli population. And we assume that this will reflect on the number of people uh, with psychiatric illnesses who uh, uh, will be affected by, infected by COVID-19. Um, Many of our patients have difficulties with the quarantine process and being alone, and patients who have a tendency towards anxiety and depression can often respond to this very difficult, with great difficulty. Clearly, it's difficult for all of us to be locked in at home and not to go out and not do things, but patients with less severe psychiatric disorders, de depression, anxiety, they can actually get much worse uh, as a result of this lockdown. Paradoxically, patients with severe psychiatric disorders, patients who are chronically psychotic, patients with schizophrenia, will often have, will not be very active socially to begin with, hence might be less affected by the extended uh, lockdown. Well, but so have you, have you seen any changes then in terms of the number of patients being admitted? Uh, in the first wave, there was a drastic decrease in occupancy levels. In this second, much more severe wave, we're also seeing a decrease in occupancy levels, uh, perhaps a bit less severe. Uh, we understand this, that in the first wave, patients, first of all, the population overall was much more concerned. People were very concerned about coming into the hospital. Today, patients are less concerned about coming into the hospital and are more likely, if they need psychiatric treatment, to come in and get treated and not to stay away. So that we are seeing decreases in occupancy levels, but to a lesser degree than we saw in the first wave. So what have, what have you been doing to address the challenges of this particular demographic? In the first wave, we established the first ward in the country and probably one of the first wards in the world which treated psychiatric patients who were positive for COVID. This was done and is still being done because we are very concerned that psychiatric patients will have difficulty being with social distancing, difficulty understanding the rules that uh, have to be adhered to in order to uh, curtail uh, uh, COVID-19, hygiene, masks, social distancing, etc. And our fear was and still is that one infected patient will get into, will be admitted to a psychiatric ward and will then uh, if infect everybody else. And uh, there were horror scenes of this sort described in the beginning of the corona crisis, both in South Korea and in China. For that reason, in February and early March, we opened the, the first ward in Israel, which hospitalized all of the psychiatric patients who need psychiatric hospitalization, who are positive for corona. We took them from all over the country in order for them not to, for the patients in the other psychiatric hospitals not to be exposed to COVID-19. Um, and, and in fact, this effort has been successful. There have not been mass uh, infections in psychiatric wards, as for example, has and ha did happen in uh, geriatric, uh, uh, geriatric wards uh, and in uh, old age homes. And, and so what about the second wave? Because you said earlier that more patients are being admitted or are admitting themselves this time around. So how is Sheba evolving with the additional number of infected psychiatric patients? These patients pose a special challenge to medicine because on the one hand, they cannot be kept in a psychiatric ward because they have medical uh, complications of COVID. On the other hand, they are sent to corona units in general hospitals 
where their psychiatric symptoms pose a great challenge to the staff and to other patients who are not used to treating patients with psychiatric symptoms. We in Sheba are proud to be in advanced stages of planning of a unit which will treat patients who are need psychiatric hospitalization but have mild to moderate symptoms of the coronavirus. Um, we will we are putting together a special ward which on the one hand has psychiatric facilities but on the other hand has general medical facilities. Patients will need oxygen, they will need suction, they will need uh, ex uh, 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 definite care from internal medicine specialists with whom we are of course have on an ongoing dialogue because we treat these we treat patients with significant medical comorbidities together with the psychiatric comorbidities. Uh, this is going to be a major challenge. These patients are going to have both psychiatric symptomatology together with respiratory symptomatology. This will be quite a challenge, but we are happy to stand up to this challenge uh, here at the Sheba Medical Center. All right, Professor Mark Weiser, thank you so much for being with us.